Milwaukee landmark may be coming down. The state may replace the aging Hone Bridge with a four-lane boulevard. JS on air now. We're joined by Tom Held, reporter for the Milwaukee Journal Sentinel. Tom, first off, where do things stand right now? Um, the, uh, the DOT is uh, just considering all of its options right now, and uh, one of those would be the uh, four-lane boulevard and uh, a bridge over the harbor to replace the Hone Bridge. But uh, a lot of the decisions are, are quite a bit off in the future um, when the, uh, the road project to repave the Hone Bridge is uh, ready to, to get underway, probably the time frame 2010 to 2013. Now, Tom, I know a lot of folks on the south side in particular are pretty steamed about this. Is this affection for the bridge or uh, wasting of taxpayer money or, or both? Well, I think they're looking at it uh, from their own development potential. Uh, people in St. Francis and Cudahy, the officials down there are saying, hey, one of our selling points is the quick access to downtown and the amenities there, and uh, that's provided by the Hone Bridge. So while you're looking at development in uh, the Jones Island and the port area, um, they feel that they're getting uh, ignored a bit in that, uh, that discussion. Uh, Tom, I'm one of those people who happens to take the Hone Bridge every single day. I've been doing that for three years now here in Milwaukee. Absolutely enjoy driving on the Hone Bridge. I can't believe I'm saying that, but really, it seems like it's iconic to me. Don't you think we're losing a little bit of ourselves if we get rid of it? Uh, perhaps. It depends on what the alternative is and then what that looks like. It is iconic, but you have to remember the Hone Bridge really has only been there since uh, the, the late 70s. Um, I, I have to agree. It, it, it you know, certainly gives you one of the best views of the city, uh, particularly if you're driving from the uh, south side into downtown. Um, but again, I think the DOT is saying, hey, it's going to cost us $200 million or more to repave this. Maybe we need to look at some alternatives. That's Tom Held with the Milwaukee Journal Sentinel. Tom, thanks for joining us. We're looking forward to reading more about this. And by the way, you can read more about it on JS.com, JSOnline.com. We have a link from our website, todaystmj4.com.